question number eight it looks very straightforward so let's just get into it i want to make sure that xn is greater than x of n plus one and uh, xn is given by n cube minus 9 n square plus 631 and x of n plus 1 would be given by n plus 1 cubed minus 9 times of n plus 1 whole square plus 631 our job is just to simplify this inequality and get to the answer so uh, 631 would directly cancel out from both the sides and i'm going to take everything to the left hand side this would give me n cube minus n plus 1 whole cubed minus 9 times of n square minus n plus 1 whole square is greater than 0. Okay, and using the formula of a cube minus b cube over here, which is a, a minus b times a square plus b square plus ab, you would get n minus n minus 1 times n squared plus n plus 1 whole squared plus n times of n into n plus 1 minus 9 times of again using a square minus b square the formula for a square minus b square here i would get a minus b into a plus b greater than 0 okay here the n's cancel out so we're left with minus of n square plus n square plus 1 plus 2n plus n square plus n minus 9 times of again n's the n and n cancel out this would be minus 2n plus 1 is greater than 0 now uh, i'll just open up the brackets we should get minus 3n squared minus 3n minus 1 plus 18n plus 9 is greater than 0 and this simplifies to minus 3n square plus 15n plus 8 is greater than 0 now if i multiply this entire inequality by minus 1 by 3 it would become n square minus 5n minus 8 by 3 is less than 0 because I've multiplied with a negative number now let me just try and solve this question as if this uh, this expression here is a quadratic equation so what I'm doing is I'm trying to solve x squared minus 5n minus 8 by 3 equal to 0 I'm trying to find the roots of this quadratic okay so sorry this should be x obviously because i mean i'm dealing in x so the roots would be x is equal to 5 plus minus square root of 25 plus 32 over 3 upon 2 now this the square root here would not be an exact uh, this won't turn out to be an exact number and an integer so what i'm going to do is found, find the limits for this so uh, this this expression here is bound between 25 and if i were to assume 32 to be 33 okay so this would become 11 25 plus 11 would be 36 so it is bound between these two numbers and eventually it is bound between 5 and 6 so what i've done is i've found an approximation to this so the positive root would be 5 plus something around 5.xx let me write that number to be 5.xx upon 2 and this is roughly roughly what it is something that is greater than 5 okay so let me write that as 5.xx so it's something that is greater than 5 but less than 6 obviously similarly the negative root would be 5 minus 5 point something upon 2 and that would be something which is a negative number okay so the roots of this quadratic this quadratic uh, are minus 0 point something something and the second root is 5 point something something okay so we can convert this uh, expression here 
into something like this okay now now i want to solve this inequality and uh, we know that the inequality would be negative when we take n to be a number between the two roots okay so if n is in between 0 point something negative of 0 point something and 5 point something something this entire thing would be negative so the solution would be from negative 0 point xx to 5 point xx now i'm interested in finding the largest value of n for which this inequality would hold and n must be an integer as well so that just leaves me with n equal to 5 because if i go above 5 if i go to 6 this expression would turn to be positive and the inequality won't hold why because the first term would be positive the second would be positive as well but when n is 5 the first term is positive but the second one is negative so n equal to 5 is the answer that is option b